What you guys got another video here for you and this one's quite a basic video for most people but still today people don't back up their system and we've got a Windows 8.1 system here and I want to show you how easy it is to create a system image uh, using Windows 8.1. Now I know a ton of you guys are already saying oh that's pretty easy but there's still a lot of people out there that don't know how to do it and I thought I'd make a quick video just to stop people asking those questions on how to create a backup of their system. So here we have a Windows 8.1. Now you want to get to your control panel. You can right click on your uh, start button here and hit control panel here if you want and that will open up your control panel. Or you can come down to your charm bar if you're used to going this way and uh, you can hit search and type in control panel here and you will see control panel up the top. And another way here is on your charm bar. If you go to settings here you can see control panel there okay so now we've got control panel open depending on which way you go about it we've got system security click on that and you will see file history now if you've not got the system security or this uh, configuration category set up here and you've got the listed icons i.e. this setup then all you need to do here is go to file history once you've got this open it's going to scan uh, for drives once that's done its scan what you want to do is click on this down here saying system image backup click on that and this will open up the create a system image box once this is open you'll see that there is an on a hard disk on one or more DVDs or on a network location now depending which way you want to back up to now for instance if this is an external drive this is where you want to back up to okay you can use the drop down menu and select which drive you want okay and it's best to always back up to an external drive or something of that nature okay or a large thumb drive now also here we've got DVDs now if you've got DVDs you can also create a backup of those I wouldn't recommend that um, to be honest I'd rather go with the external drive and again network drive if you've got a network a NAS drive or something like that you want to network to and uh, drop the storage on there you can do that also we're just going to do this location here and then what we're going to do is do our C drive okay and this is going to go to our E drive Live 11 uh, gigabytes of space to take up at that drive so we're going to go start back up and let that create the backup okay so that's the actual backup now complete as you can see here we can click close now a thing to remember is when is the right time to back up your system now if you've bought a system i.e. a new computer you want to start thinking about backing it up straight away and making an image because most uh, new computers nowadays don't come uh, with um, Windows Media so that means you've got no Windows disk and that means you need to create a backup of that system as soon as possible before it gets infected or gets on the internet and stuff like that now also having a good backup means if you get hit by ransomware or, or anything like that's encrypted all your files or you got in viruses then at least you can always revert back okay back to a nice clean system so it's very important and it's very easy to do as you can see there now how do we restore this It's pretty straightforward I'm going to show you how to do that right now now you can either have a Windows CD or you can either have a recovery CD and you can create a recovery CD inside Windows and let me just reboot the system okay so we're going to push the enter key to boot to our CD now remember you will need to change the boot order in your BIOS to uh, boot to CD first rather than your hard drive and that will help you boot to either your CD or USB flash drive depending on which uh, way you're going to be booting to your media. Now once we get to this screen we want to click next and then we want to come down to repair your computer. Once we get here, we want to go to Troubleshoot and then come down to Advanced Options and then you will see here System Image Recovery. That is our image that we've created, so we're going to click this. Now we need to target the operating system, click on Windows 8.1 
it will then search and you can see it's going to use the latest available image recommended okay this is our known good image that we've just created and you can see the uh, date there that it created it and also if you want to select another image you can come down to where it says select an image and choose your previous images to whatever you want to install to okay we're gonna just use the recommended one go next and uh, you've got some options here open to you um, so what we're gonna do is just leave this as is and just click on next and then what we're gonna do here is click on finish and this will then start the process all the data uh, all the data on the drives to be restored will be replaced okay with the data in the system image just remember that so if there's anything on that computer will be lost okay because it's going to be using the data from the image click yes and then that will start the process to re-image the computer back now this is especially important if you've bought a brand new computer and you don't have no windows media so remember that start to make a create a, a system image as soon as you buy that PC okay okay that's nearly complete now and as you can see here this may take a few minutes or a few hours depending on how much uh, data and how large the drive is okay just bear that in mind so be patient so we're just going to click on restart now And there we are, back at the desktop with the system image restored. Okay, back to the way it was when we created it. So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Okay. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers or you've got any questions or video requests, you can head over to my forums. The information is on the screen. Other than that, it's time to go and I shall see you again in the next video. Have a great weekend and bye for now.